All right, y'all, I'm doing this video because uh, I have searched all over the internet doing this project where they uh, follow the exact same plot, just offset by a few frames, like this. And for the longest time, I've been doing this by copying and pasting the points, right? And that works. But for complex animations where there's a lot of objects that are following each other and then a lot of points... I can't just copy and paste, and then if I wanted to change a point later, then I have to change all of the points. That's not how I want to run things, right? So uh, what the heck am I going to do? But today I figured it out, and it still is a little bit more involved than I would like, but maybe if one of y'all has a better option, then, well, let me know in the comments, right? This is how I have my uh, composition, fusion composition set up, where DaVinci Resolve uh, Studio, so uh, version 16 about DaVinci Resolve is version 16. I have my background, that's just a color object and emerge, and I have all of these objects right here. These are all text objects, right? Object two, three, one, all that transforms. Everything is happening on this transform uh, node right here. So I'm just gonna go through. This one, I'm going to go ahead and remove the path that I made for it. So now it's just object one that's really happy, a little giddy. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here to the center X of the second object that's going to transform. I'm going to modify with an offset position. This is what I figured out. you got to do offset position. But you want to make sure that offset X is set to zero and offset y is set to zero because it, it wants to offset the position that's not what we want to do what you want to offset is the time so go ahead to the clock tab on the modifier sub hit negative five so i'm going to not negative 56 that's not what i want to do negative five frames so this is going to follow the exact same position as object one but five frames behind right and then what you want to connect is that you want to connect the offset position to the value of the first one, just like that, okay? And then go on and do the same thing for transform three. Connect or modify the transform center with an offset position. In the modifiers tab, hit zero on the offset position. You don't want that. Go into the time hit negative five or whatever the timing you want of position time offset. That's what you want. And then position X of the offset, connect that to the offset. Now the first one, the first offset, we connected it to the transform one. This is the key reference point. This is the main one. You want to connect it to the last object that you connect. Otherwise, if you uh, remove the offset, if you connected it to the original one, it would just be doing that. You don't want that to happen. And that's how you can go ahead and then, you know, you can also affect your, your Y. Don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm not sure that I do know what I'm doing. You're adjusting a single node spline. You're adjusting the first one. And it affects all of the others at once, just offset by five frames. That's the uh, that's what I figured out. I couldn't use I couldn't figure out expressions. You could use expressions, but that didn't seem to do what I wanted to do. I couldn't figure out how to reference another object. I hope this helps anybody else who's searching, because I searched for a while, I couldn't find it, and I did find it finally just by playing around with controls. That's all I wanted to say. So, peace out, guys.